the military to the public's eye by showcasing the high quality of training of all the men and women in the Australian Defence Force. positioning the formation for the oblique loop and fly past. Roulette leader is squadron leader Glenn Canfield. Squadron leader Canfield joined the Navy in 1994 and after flying helicopters and fixed wing aircraft for the Navy for 12 years, he transferred to the Air Force. Glenn graduated as a qualified flying instructor in 2002. He's over 4,800 hours flying experience with more than 1,800 hours as instructing. This is squadron leader Canfield's fifth season with the Roulettes and his second as lead. such as this. Each pilot up there is weighing about uh, 400 kilos because they're pulling about 4G each. The team are now positioning out to the right. They'll be running in for the leader's benefit fly past. We'll be crossing live to Glenn as he talks the team through the manoeuvre and uh, I'll just get you to watch closely at the end of the pass for the leader's benefit to the six-pack formation.
looking out to the right again, you can see roulette one through four running in for the breathtaking corkscrew. In this manoeuvre, roulette one will be inverted and roulette four will fly barrel rolls around the rear of the formation before Roger rejoining into box. See roulette five and six rejoining for the Delta fly pass. Of course, it's not all about the pilots. Behind the scenes, the roulettes are supported by a dedicated group of highly skilled ground crew. Sergeant Maynus, today uh, we've got Sergeant Dallas Young. He joined the Air Force from Allistonville under northern New South Wales in 1994. He spent time with various fast jet squadrons, has worked on the F 111, Hornet, Mackie, and Hawk lead in fighter aircraft. This is his second season with the roulettes. Spotting the change from uh, Delta back to Wedge, uh, they'll be positioning out to the right and uh, the team will be performing at the Vulcan Rollbacks. We'll be crossing live to Squadron Leader Canfield as he directs the team through the manoeuvre. The Vulcan Rollbacks, of course, is in preparation for the Vulcan Barrel Roll. of a difficult job of staying in position while being so far away from the lead aircraft. Uniquely, the roulettes are comprised of qualified flying instructors who normally teach the art of flying instruction to selected Defence Force pilots on flying instructors course at East Sale. The average tenure of the team is between two to four seasons, which is about 18 months to two years before being posted back to an operational role. Once the team has been selected, they'll undergo a rigorous workup program, at the end of which they'll all be assessed safe and ready for public display. Watch the team now as they position and change out to the right to the more gentlemanly wedge position. The smoke you can see is generated by spraying a mineral oil and diesel mix into the hot exhaust gases where it is vaporised. This is to visually enhance our display and also assist us in locating each other when separated. The team setting up now for the wedge barrel roll. If you're interested in learning more about the roulettes, you can visit us online at rwf.gov.au forward slash roulettes or come down to the tent, which is just on the left hand side of the C-17. If you wish to find out more about a job in defence, you can visit defencejobs.gov.au or call 131901. Of course today you've got the luxury of uh, visiting the recruiting tent. 
You can also become a friend of the Roulettes on Facebook.com. The team will shortly be changing back to the Delta formation. From the front, the team is now positioning for a grand finale, which is my personal favourite, the Wedge, Quarter Clover and Cascade. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the show today. On behalf of the team, I'd like to say thank you and farewell from the Roulettes.